Hey folks, I'm Brian Latimer and this is Bass UTV. Today we're going to talk about fishing road beds. Just about every reservoir over the country has a road bed in it. And I'm going to show you how to find the road beds, how you can physically find them on your graphs and your units on your boat. Right now, I'm going to show you the tools that I use, the baits, the rods, the reels, the lines that I use to catch fish on road beds. And then after that, we're going to get out on the water. I'm going to show you some of my favorite holes on my home lake to catch fish on these underwater highways. All right, so, you know, everything is about context here. And where I live, we have a lot of spotted bass. Anytime you're fishing the main lake, you're pretty much predominantly going to be targeting spotted bass. So the tools that I use here have a lot to do with the reason that I use these tools is because that's what I'm fishing for. It's very simple. There's two baits that I rig two different ways. One of these being the Streaks 375 on a drop shot. That's all it is right there. This is a mental style, mental style soft plastic. And I got that rigged on a number two drop shot hook. Got about an 18 inch leader and I got it tied to a 3 16th ounce drop shot weight. Now, what's special about this guy? This is why I use the Z-Man Streaks 375. Everybody's pretty much familiar with the Last Tech formula now. You can see I've got this guy nose hooked. I've already caught several fish on this bait today, and it does not come off it even though it's nose hooked. So unless I break this off in a brush pile or some timber, I'm never gonna have to retie it. Other thing about it, because Last Tech floats and it's softer than any other plastic on the market, is it floats and so it has a different action in the water. It doesn't take a lot of rod action to get this bait to do what you need it to do to catch a bass. So that's why I like to use it. So the Streaks 375, that's Ralph's Shad. You can see it has like a gray translucent bottom. It's got some green and blue flake in it with a blue back on it. A lot of these fish that we're gonna be catching today and that we're fishing for, they're gonna be fishing on, they're gonna be feeding on thread thin shad. And that is the perfect representation of a thread thin shad right there is the Streaks 375. So there's times where I'll fish this setup with a drop shot and I'll take this exact same bait and I'll rig it a different way. Now, I can't take credit for calling this bait what we call it, but this is what we call the Ned Miki. Joey Nania is the guy that coined it. It was the first person I heard call it that, the Ned Miki. Took the same exact plastic, soft plastic, and this is just a one fifth ounce Ned rig head. Finesse shrooms, Z-Man sh finesse shrooms jig head. Now, why would I put the same bait on two different rigging setups? I'm gonna tell you why. Right now we're fishing in pretty much the dead of winter. In the dead of winter when the water gets extremely cold like how it is right now, fish can be very, very lethargic in deep, cold, clear water. That's one of the times of the year where color matters most, line size matters most, your hook size can matter most. Everything has got to be right to get the most bites. I'm not saying you won't get a bite or two on a different color than what I like to use. Of course you would. But to get the most bites, everything has got to be just right. And so I have noticed over the years of fishing that when I'm fishing on a roadbed or when I'm fishing out there on deeper structure like this, there's times where this Ned Miki, because it stays on the bottom, works a little bit better. And there's times where when fish are a little bit more active, that this bait works a little bit better, suspended off the bottom on a drop shot. So I always keep those two setups on my deck when I'm targeting road beds. Now my third setup is one that you don't hear about in the tournament formats hardly at all anymore. But this is something I learned how to do here at home when I was a kid from my dad and it is an awesome way to catch fish on a road bed. If I find a road bed that's 30, 35 foot deep, this guy right here is the deal. A jigging spoon. Some of you guys may have never even heard of a jigging spoon before. It's hard to even find them in certain parts of the country. But right here where I live, this guy right here still catches a lot of fish and a lot of bass. And so we're gonna use this guy too. It's a great bait to use in this context. This is a one ounce jigging spoon, 20 pound test fluorocarbon, and I've got it tied on a six foot six inch, moderate action, a moderate power rod, a moderate action with a medium heavy, uh, medium heavy power. I've got a bait caster, 
This is a 731 gear ratio reel. And that's my setup when I'm using a jigging spoon. So now I've walked you through my tools that I like to use for fishing road beds. So let's get out there on the water. I'm gonna show you some of the places that I like to catch some of the best spotted bass in this lake with these tools right here. It's Mike Iaconelli. This is Bass U TV. Here's what's awesome about Bass U TV. You get the top instructors. Real tools that help you catch more fish consistently. And that's why you wanna check out Bass U TV. Join the Bass U family. Welcome to Bass U TV.